Welcome back to the storm table. Today we're going to look at a two foot by two foot swamp board that I built recently. For the beginning of this project you're going to need some pink foam, some MDF boards, some wood glue, and a sharp object to score. And score up the wood board and the MDF, and then spread your glue, and then find some heavy objects and place them on top to a flat surface and let sit for a long time. After it's dry, I grab a carving utensil and start cutting out some low-lying swamp ponds. You're going to want to make sure that they're low and not deep because of the resin we'll be using later and sand them smooth. And make sure you have an awesome vacuum cleaner because this stuff gets everywhere, especially if it's windy outside and I do recommend doing it outside. Alright, now that the board's pretty much clean, I'm going to lay down some wood glue and some sand to help keep the resin at bay and give a nice effect of the river, the swamp bottom, the uh, little lake bottoms. And I'm using uh, play sand that I've just filtered a little bit, sifted a little bit. All right, and then after that's all dry, I painted the board black. And what I'm starting now with is a autumn brown. I'm going to do the pathways between the swamp puddles, swamp ponds. And it's gonna be a heavy dry brush. Next I move to the um, puddles themselves and I'm using a Christmas green or a dark green. And next I'm going to highlight that with a brighter green. This one's kind of a lime green color. And to finish it off, I'm going to use a very bright blue to uh, do the deepest parts of the swamp. I'm using these brighter colors because when we pour the resin in, it's going to be murky and all the grass and dirt is going to be a nice um, contrast. Here I'm applying some flock, I'm using tacky glue, and I'm using Woodland Scenics Blended Earth. And everywhere I painted brown, I am adding that, and if it gets a little bit in the swamp, I am not worrying about it because it's going to look awesome when it's done. And we brought in the board inside to do some of the finer detailing work. This is a mix of craft glue and water. It's a 50-50 mix. And this is Woodland Scenics Fine Turf. All right, here's my tip for the day. Adding this in patches over the already laid down flock, it's going to give the board a more natural look and a really nice effect. All right, next we're gonna be doing the tall grass. You're going to need some tacky glue, some scissors, a plate, and a whole lot of patience. You uh, cut the tall grass, dip it in some of the tacky glue, and place it to the board. Next we're bringing back the craft glue and water mix. We're spraying it on random spots and we're going to be using a coarse turf from Woodland Scenics and this is a dark green color. Another great trick for building your terrains is contrast. Use a lot of contrast. Here we're taking some more tacky glue and some lichen from Woodland Scenics and random, putting it in random spots across the board. At this point I felt that the contrast was a little too high so what I did was grab the original flock blended earth turf and sprinkle it back on some of the green to kind of blend it in. All right, now here's the trick for placing trees down on your board. Trees should always be placed in threes, and they should always be in a triangle. Don't ask me why, but apparently the world is just random threes and triangles. And after the trees, it's time to pour the resin. Unfortunately, my video camera cut out while I was pouring it, so here's what it looks like as it's curing.
This board's going to be a display piece for a role-playing session that I'm running with the One Ring role-playing game. The characters have to go into the long marshes and find some missing dwarfs. And I thought this would be a nice way to introduce them into the world. I hope you enjoyed the making of this board, and if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. And I will have other videos of the painting of the dead man in the water and the broken boat. So feel free to check those.